so here we have a tiny board here, the Infineon booth. Uh, so hello, so who are you? I'm Matthias Ackermann from Infineon. So I'm what do you do? I'm presenting you the XMC 1100 starter kit. It's called XMC to go. It's an entry level product. It has a debugger on it. So this is a tiny board. Yes, and so it has full blown XMC 1100 microcontroller which enables a wide peripheral set. So this is a ARM Cortex M0, M0 microcontroller. And how do you sell this? Well, we sell it to industrial customers because we have a peripheral which is running up to 64 megahertz. We have outstanding peripherals in terms of um, timer, ADCs, and we have also a series. This is the basic series. Yeah. It's a 1100. We have the 1200 which is dedicated for lighting. It has a peripheral which is called brightness color control unit. And we okay. have the 1300 series, which has a Quadic mass coprocessor, which enables high performance mathematic algorithm like um, division or cosinus calculations. Cool. So you, you have a special box for this, uh, the way you sell it? Yes. Um, it comes along with this small box. Yeah. And you, you open the box and it's inside? It's inside. And you just pull it out. You have yeah. the debugger on it. You just need a USB cable. Okay. And this you connect to your PC. Yeah. Connected to the PC and uh... and then you get a free IDE, which is called Dave. It's a digital application virtual engineer. So what is Dave? Show you there. Dave is a better launch of a new production IDE. It's a code okay. development platform. Okay. So we have uh, Dave. It's uh, to reduce time to market. Yes, it's an efficient tool. So we yeah. provide a tool which you have. XMC Lib. Okay. XMC Lib is a static code library which you can use either with Dave or with certain party tools like ARM, MDK, like IR systems, Atolic, Rowley, compilers. Yeah. And what it does, it gives you a basic peripheral set library. Yeah, yeah. This basic peripheral set library. Thanks for your yeah. This basic peripheral set library you can pick it and use, like I said, on top of this basic library set, XMC lib called, you have the Dave apps. The Dave apps is a new methodology which we introduced a few years ago in Dave version 3. Now this is the better version of Dave version 4, which has a, some extension in terms of GUI experience and enhancements in terms of performance. So uh, right here you have some boards connected and what are you showing? This is just the, the, the demo boards we have or the evaluation or? boards no, which a customer just, could uh, purchase, so I just began application specific. Okay. So I'm not, or just I'm not fully equipped. A kind yet. of flexible hey, no application problem. specific one. Yeah. So this one is this different connectors here. So it's um, actuator. On the back side here you see HMI extension. Why are you and here you communication extension. Mm -hmm. So you could use the card okay, as it is. Yeah. Yeah. Or you, so you plug in an additional card, a satellite so card, which gives you extension to a certain application. So this is an interesting design for a board. And, uh, people do what with this? Well, the people are simply, they can plug and build a more or less application with it. And together, if you look at this one, yeah. here you see, for example, a Dave app. So it's a graphical representation of a use case. In this case, it's a PWM. And you could do a graphical programming. And then you get a C code, which you could either use with Dave, like I mentioned before, or with a third party tool. So you know. And you could download it and program it on this emulation board. And then you get more or less, you know, enhanced time to market. So, because uh, you don't need to take care for the hardware on the peripherals. So this is the all new 2015 day. Uh, so how can people get it? They, people can just go to our homepage, which is infineon.com slash day. And they can just download it. Yeah, perfect. It's for free. It's free. It's fully for free. And, and uh, it will be fully productive in July 2015. So and it's based on that, version. they start getting the boards too? The, the boards they can purchase at ISA on our homepage or at any e-commercial trader like Farnell, DigiKey, Mouser and so on. Nice. How many boards do you have? Well, we have about those. Two. Yeah? We have about 20 different kind of boards. So the yeah. idea is really like this one here. 
it's an Arduino based board. Yeah. What you see here is an RGB LED lighting shield. This is an intelligent shield which you could either use standalone or you use it together with an XMT1100 boot kit, which is another evaluation board from our company. It's both written by the same technology in terms of microcontroller, it's the 1000 series, but it has on the base board, it has a 1100 microcontroller. Okay. And on the, on the top board, on the shield, it has a 1200 microcontroller with a firmware on it, which you get for free from us. And this okay. firmware enables you to communicate via ISPC between both boards. You can select the LED engine and you could communicate by using different commands. So you could program the, the color, you could program the brightness. And yeah. on top, the technology which we enable with this 1200 family, okay. it's called PCCU, Brightness Color Control Unit. It's a dedicated unit, it's a kind of school processor which do autarkic color control. So it's flicker free at low dimming frequency and it's very cost effective because what you have here is a fully integrated version. You don't need external components except of a FET to do the whole lighting control. Oh. What is this? This is a murder chip together with an XMC4000 device. So it's a 24 gigahertz radar. What it could do, it could take a motion as well as speed. And so if people do, some, do something in private, something happens or? Well, in this case, if you, if you change or if, if you change the distance, then it simply signals it to the Arduino shields. <coughs> and this one is controlling the RGB LED inside. Yeah. And what it does, if you go closer, it gets red. If you go away, it gets green. Cool. And if you stay stable, then it gets blue. So you have lots of other things around here? Yes, but this is automotive driven, so we have a lot of expertise in automotive. Yeah. But all kinds of automotive stuff. This is yeah. um, optics based. Yeah. This is optics based. So this is a, it's a it's another focus in our area yeah. in microcontrollers, but it's yeah. automotive based. So we should go, for example, for this one. <laughs> this is a power drill driven design. It's an optimized board where we have the PCB layout and everything. It's available for our customers. It's using our analog technology where we are very strong together with XMC microcontrollers. And what we have here is the XMC 1300. Yeah. It's another series in the 1000 series. And it has a mass coprocessor. It's a Quartic and a mass coprocessor. It runs up to 64 megahertz on a 32 megahertz microcontroller. And it enables sinus division, cosinus calculations, and all these kind of things. Cool. So you could do with this small micro, high performance motor control FOC. Nice. What is he holding there? Um, this is our yeah. 600 watt LLC reference design. So what you see here is it's powered by an XMC 4000 microcontroller. It's an able to solution PWM. So it's an 80 megahertz device, but it has the ability to drive a high resolution PWM up to 150 picoseconds. And with this we can enable very efficient digital power conversion. We call it analog and digital meets high efficient power conversion. So this is a reference design the customer can get. What's the end result? What's it going to be? The end result is we could achieve titanium class efficiency, which is about 79.8% of efficiency, which is outstanding. So it's the best class you can achieve with this kind of system. Cool. And it's very flexible, so it gives the customer ability to make platforms. Yeah. So they could stay scale because the microcontroller does the digital job, so it's really programmable. So they could scale and make different kinds and different flavors of this kind of system with one microcontroller. And uh, this digital power conversion over there? We're doing uh, stuff here and there. So it's going to here. This is also a nice system for us. So here you have the ability to, the customer gives the ability to evaluate our digital power conversion features. Yeah. Um, in this case it's, it's one baseboard yeah. and we have two cards. Either it's a 1000 enabled, it's a 1000 yeah. enabled port or it's a 4000 enabled port. And the customer could easily evaluate the technology with this. It's a purchase of board which you can purchase our normal standard nice. channels. 
And uh, So, as I said, um, in industrial microcontroller, we are focusing on five areas, which is home automation or building automation, factory automation, transportation, CAV, and home and professional things. And what we see here is just an extract of some example applications where we are very successful in the market. So you are in uh, many places around the world? We are in many applications around the world, and we are, you know, our technology is really focusing on high-performance peripherals combined with a standard core, with a standard core from ARM. Let's go around over there. Yeah. Yeah. So there we have some, uh, some quadcopter. This is uh, out of space, so it's automotive technology based. It's a short code. You can fly around our target. So the, the motor control is by Aurix as well as the camera control and it does some secure camera picture transmission. Nice. Uh, and here's also automo automotive stuff? This is, um, well, it's, it's a mix here. So you see two Arduino shields, both are available. Yes. Uh, this one is using uh, mobile uh, technology uh, for DC uh, control. This is an automotive qualified and graded yeah. product, but it's also intended to be used in industrial. So in high quality products like medicine products, could be hospitality or something, we are going to use this. Okay. What are we going to here? The RGB LED one, ah, again, the yeah. shield, just in it. Cool. What's going on over here? What, what is this stuff? Here I, I want to introduce briefly Timo Grassmann. Yeah. He can explain the demo, which is about smart home. So what are you showing here? Um, we're showing how you can uh, securely connect a mobile phone to a camera inside your smart home. Securely? Securely. You want to make sure... Um, not anybody can not see what you're doing. Can access the camera inside your house, yeah. so that, for example, that a burglar cannot access the camera inside your house yeah. and check whether you're at home or not. How does it work? We have a, based on asymmetric cryptography, yeah. um, on hardware-based security. Is this the one, the Optica? That's the Optica Trust. So it's a little chip. Uh, can you show the chip? Is it uh, in there also? Yeah. Right here, a little chip, 2 by 3 millimeter package. Okay. Um, can be integrated easily. And we securely yeah. connect uh, a mobile phone. Yeah. See, we securely connect the mobile phone to the camera. And you and show here, it right here also. What are you showing on this? Here we have a, a yeah. Raspberry Pi board. Yeah. Um, with a TPM extension, and we're showing how you, you build a secure channel and how you can securely transmit data between an embedded system and a PC. So it's a secure chip right here. That's the TPM, TIGA TPM, right here. All right. So it's pretty important to have uh, security with the Internet of Things. You can't just have people hack into your home and stuff, right? Exactly. And it's not only about security, but it's also about hardware-based security. So if you want to implement security, I think you should do it right from the beginning. And that's why, for one thing, you need hardware-based security. And if you choose hardware-based security, you, do, you need to choose the right hardware-based security so that your systems cannot be attacked. Cool. All right, so security is also another topic for microcontrollers. So yeah. I can show you a brief demo okay. where we have secure field update. Um, so it means the know-how of our customers is, sec is secured. Yeah. So we have some cooperation with companies like the company Vivo. Yeah. And this is enabling that the customer can do field updates, so they can send source code to the microcontroller, which is in a field application already inside embedded, and can update it, the firmware update, and it, no one can steal it, no one can hack it, because it's a secure update. And, and it's uh, another point of IoT, so yeah. all our products have communication interfaces for IoT, and here we go and enable on top secure field updates. Because you want to have all these uh, M2M uh, machines uh, out there, all these industrial stuff, you want to update them securely and exactly. you're able to do that. Yep. Yeah, able to do this with this technology. Is that new or? It's quite new. It's today. In, uh, we, we held a press release on yesterday and we, we showed this the first time on this exhibition today. Does that mean that before to update stuff in the Internet of Things, before today it wasn't secure? 
well, it, it could. It wasn't been, so easy. It wasn't so easy, and now it's provided. So it's even the logistic behind. So it's connected to your SAP system. So it's really able for manufacturer who has millions of devices out in the field. He can now do the logistic and everything is behind covered by a third party of us. But the, and all, all the stuff that's already out there, or only the future stuff with the new chip. Well, it's you, for the new chip. So for the, the new, new chip products, security, the new hardware series. security. You don't need additional hardware. You just need a microcontroller from Infineon, which connects to this software behind it, to the logistic behind. And like you said before, it's very important for us because we are focusing on industrial. Here you see a PLC application. The PLC application is using on one side codices software, which is very famous in industrial. And also what we have here is the capability to use a mid-range microcontroller who is driving two motors at the same time, thanks to the technology we have in terms of interconnect matrix, fast ADCs and fast PWM signals with a timer.